Hi everyone, Dr. Stevens here. So in this video, I'm going to teach you all about the mechanism of cardiac contraction. Okay, so we all understand that the heart pumps blood throughout the body to get nutrients and oxygen to our body cells and waste products out of our body cells to the excretory organs, right? So how exactly is the heart pumping the blood? All right, so this is the question that we want to answer in this video. And obviously, in SPM and IGCSE, this is going to be a very important exam question. So without further ado, let's get started. You have to understand that cardiac muscle has a very important characteristic, which is called myo. Genic. Myogenic means, okay, so let's just break down the word. The word myo actually means muscle. Genic means generate. It means that actually the cardiac muscles can generate their own electrical impulses and they do not have to receive nerve impulses from the central nervous system in order for them to contract. Okay, so the cardiac muscle being myogenic is very, very important. Okay, so we have a special group of cardiac muscle that is called the pacemaker. The primary pacemaker of the heart is the SA node or the sinoatrial node. So sinoatrial node is located at the right atrium of the heart. The function of the pacemaker or sinoatrial node is to generate electric impulses and to kickstart the rhythm of the heart. So, the heart does not contract and relax in a random manner. So if the heart is contracting in a random manner, in medicine, we call this as arrhythmia. So in a complete normal person, the heart should actually contract and relax in a proper and sequential manner. So in the very, very basic form of cardiac cycle, we have what we call as the atrial systole. So the word systole actually means contraction. Atrial systole means the contraction of the atria simultaneously and followed by ventricular systole or the contraction of ventricles. In higher level later, we will study about ventricular diastole, which means the relaxation of the ventricles. So let's get started. Okay, to talk about the process of electrical transmission in the heart. So first of all, the sinoatrial node will generate electrical impulses. Be careful, we will never say nerve impulses because nerve impulses technically is coming from the nervous system, but the heart is part of the blood circulatory system. So instead of nerve impulse, we'll be talking about electrical impulse. So the Sinoatrial node will generate electrical impulses, then the electrical impulses will first spread to the walls of the atria. From after spreading to the walls of the atria, the atria will then contract and the blood will then flow from the atria to the ventricles. Is that clear? Okay, so the next step is we want to stimulate the ventricles to contract. However, the electrical impulses cannot spread from the wall of the atria to the ventricles directly because there is actually an electrical insulator located between the atria and the ventricle. Okay, so the only way that the electrical impulse can reach the wall of the ventricles is through the atrial ventricular node or the AV node. Okay, so from the AV node, be careful over here because there are few electrical transmitting bundles that you have to remember their names. And some students find it difficult to remember. It's okay, but after some time, you get used to it. All right? So the first electrical transmitting fibers is called the bundle of his. Okay? So after the bundle of his fibers, we will have two bundle branches. We have the left bundle branch and the right bundle branch. After reaching the apex of the heart, we have the Purkinje fibers, okay? So as you can see from the diagram, 
the kinchi fibers are at the walls of the ventricles. So when the electrical signals reach the Purkinje fibers, literally it means that the ventricles are accepting electrical impulses. And therefore, they will start to contract. When the ventricles contract, blood will then flow out from the ventricles to the rest of the body. So, this is Dr. Stephen Lee. If you enjoyed this video and you learned something, do feel free to share with your friends and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much and I'll see you again.